I'm Jonathan Robinson and this is Fred Buzz. Hello, welcome back to the Fred Buzz. I think we have a great episode for you this week. I literally just ran in out of the rain, so if I look even more unkempt than normal, I apologize. Um, if you have never been to the Fret Buzz before, the Fret Buzz is the show we put out every week where I comb through the best of YouTube guitar videos, find things that I really dig, and put out my top five so that you don't have to spend hours sort of going through YouTube um, and sorting through all the things that are out there. So here's, here's five that hopefully you know are, are go-tos. Hopefully some of them are new channels for you guys. Some of them are videos from big channels uh, that I just think are things you don't want to miss. And they're almost always within the last week or so. Um, so, having said that, let's jump right into this week's top five. Thank you guys, by the way, for all the views on last week's Fret Buzz. That was phenomenal. I believe that was the most watched episode we've had so far. So, thank you. Um, so, having said all that, here's number one video for this week. Uh, we're starting with an awesome channel that is brand new. I bet most of you have not heard of it because they only have... Uh, I think a couple hundred subscribers. Um, there's six string stories. I think the guy's near Nashville. Um, in fact, he and I have actually connected before on Instagram. Um, and I don't think I put together that this was him. And I don't think he put together that I, you know, I was the one who does this stuff for casino guitars. So it was kind of fun. We had a kind of a neat little connection and actually chatted a bit on Instagram, which is rare. Usually I don't chat with anyone. I just pick my videos and, and put them out there. But I found this video randomly. It popped up in my feed um, and I just thought it was absolutely fantastic. It's one of the coolest things I've watched. Part of it is the subject material. It's Joe Robinson. Uh, if you've never heard Joe Robinson play or, or seen him, you are missing out. You need to watch him. This would be a fantastic introduction to him. The name of the video is Australia's Got Talent and his name is Joe Robinson. So Joe Robinson is a fantastic young guitar player. He is from Australia. Um, as a pretty young dude, I don't know exactly how old he was, but, but young. Uh, he, like, you know, teens, I believe. He won Australia's Got Talent as a guitar player. Um, he sort of kills the Tommy Emmanuel, Chad Atkins, sort of, course, sort of finger style, thumb pick thing. Um, but he, he has his own take on it, his own style. And he can pretty much play anything. Um, you'll see, you'll see when you watch the video. But this video, they're, he, they're sitting down with him. They're a little bit of interview, a little bit of playing. Um, the playing is phenomenal. Hopefully it takes you down the Joe Robinson rabbit hole, but it's just really well done. I enjoyed it a ton. Um, so check it out. Six String Stories, Australia's Got Talent, and his name is Joe Robinson. Make sure you subscribe to Six String Stories. Uh, chatting with him, sounds like he's been really busy uh, lately with the, the whole shutdown and all that stuff. Um, so maybe not as much new content on his channel, but still subscribe because this makes me think that when, when he starts putting out more content, is going to be fantastic. So check it out, the video and the channel. Um, that's video number one for today. Video number two, uh, another sort of smaller channel. I think there's about just over 20,000 subscribers. Um, but this wonderful lady puts out fantastic content. Her name is uh, Miss Moak 007 is the name of the channel. All I ever see on there, I, I don't know anything about it, don't know anything about her, but um, she always has awesome sort of live footage of blues and blues rock players. Um, this one is Josh Smith and Eric Gales, two of the very best, it says. Pretty incredible. Um, if you like that kind of guitar playing, which I do, I love it. Uh, Josh Smith, one of my all-time favorites. He's just such a fantastic, unique player. Eric Gales is just otherworldly. I actually got to open for him here in Southern Pines last year. Mind-blowing. You need to see both those guys live, and, and you just need to watch them play. But seeing them play together is just ridiculous. It's a long video. It's like 36 minutes long. It's just the two of them on stage doing what they do. It's like a master class in phrasing and just just playing the blues and just, just playing guitar. So check it out. Um, it's, it's called Josh Smith and Eric Gales, two of the very best. It's Miss Moke 007. Cool channel. Check her out if you like watching live blues jams um, and just live great guitar playing. Uh, number three. Here's a channel I think we've talked about before. It's the Songbirds Foundation. 
Uh, the Songbirds Foundation, they do a lot of stuff for like uh, kids and music and making sure kids have guitars and there are music programs in schools, I think. Um, but they also have a museum with all these fantastic guitars from, you know, legendary players, um, people like, you know, Dwayne Allman, um, which is the, one of the guitars that was featured in this video, belonged to him. Um, and it's actually Ben McLeod from all of them, which is... Uh, which is a pretty cool band, uh, great players. He's always got really cool tone. I did not know he could play like this though, honestly. Um, yeah, this video popped up and it's, the name of the video is Ben McLeod from All Them Witches plays Dwayne Allman's 1961 Gibson Les Paul. It's the SG sort of uh, shaped Les Paul. Um, man, it's just phenomenal. Like he kills it, he's playing slide. He's playing through this awesome little amp. And it's just, it's sort of magical. Like, you know, sometimes you hear a guitar player and their touch and everything about what they do is just fantastic. This is it. This this makes you, you kind of get the goosebumps. You know, the hair hair raises up on your arms. And it is it is so sort of Dwayne Allman inspired. You can, you can just tell that he loves that style, has spent hours doing it, and has sort of mastered it. Um, What's fun is then another video popped up that's only a couple minutes long. I'll link both of them, and it's the same channel, obviously, and it's uh, Ben McLeod rips Statesboro Blues on Dwayne Allman's guitar, note for note. So basically, they're doing this interview, and I guess he mentions that he can play Statesboro Blues, note for note, and they say prove it. So they put it on, and he plays along, and it is absolutely note for note. Every little sort of slide, inflection, everything about it. It's just, it's sort of, I said it before, it's the only word that's really right is magical. It's kind of magical. Um, so check out both those videos from the Songbird Foundation. I think you will be glad you did. Might make you want to go check out more of Ben McLeod and all them witches, um, which I don't think is a bad thing either. Pretty, pretty cool band. Uh, so on to the next one. Uh, this is a channel a buddy of mine, uh, actually down in Florida, um, recommended for a fret buzz. And I checked them out a little bit, and I was just sort of waiting on the right video to feature. Uh, it's called Guitar Zero to Hero. Pretty large channel. I wasn't aware of them, though. He does a ton of great videos where he is teaching songs, mostly these acoustic songs, how to play them. Some of them are really sort of basic for beginners. Some of them are a little more detailed. This one's a little more detailed. It's not the most recent one, but it was within the last week or so, I do believe. Um, it's called Times Like These Acoustic Guitar Tutorial, Foo Fighters Guitar Lesson, and it actually is listed as sort of an, an easy one. You know, it's not a complicated song, but I had to pick the Dave Grohl thing because I often am told that I favor Mr. Dave Grohl, which I think is a cool thing. Um, who knows? We'll let you guys decide. Um, but, so Times Like These Acoustic Guitar Tutorial, Foo Fighters Guitar Lesson. Uh, great channel, like I said, there's some really cool songs on there. What I like about the, the tutorials is they are not songs that you would always expect. They're not sort of your obvious choices. There's some really neat things, a lot of kind of pop things, a lot of newer things. The, it sort of runs the gamut from country stuff to pop stuff to rock stuff, classic rock kind of things, everything in between. There's usually vocals on there so you can hear how the guitar sort of interacts with, with someone singing. So that if you're learning to sort of strum guitar and sing, I think that's really helpful to see how, where everything is placed, where everything falls. It's just a great channel. There's also some things where he reviews guitars and unboxes guitars and things like that as well. So a little something for everyone on that channel um, and really good for those of you who might be watching who are beginners and you just need to learn some tunes. So check that out, Guitar Zero to Hero. Uh, our last video for the week. Um, also a channel that I know I have at least talked about before. I don't know if I've ever featured one, but it's um, True Tone. They do the True Tone Lounge, uh, and I love the True Tone Lounge. I don't know how they don't have more subscribers. Um, in fact, I was kind of shocked when I watched this video at how few subscribers they actually have. I think it's only something like 14,000, unless I'm remembering wrong or looked wrong. Um, but either way, this, they're just fantastic. Zach is one of the best interviewers on YouTube, especially for music stuff. He seems to know everything. So um, he is always prepared. He always has great questions. He doesn't interrupt. He lets the folks talk. Um, all, all super good, good stuff. The guy on this edition of True Tone Lounge, it's Duke Levine, True Tone Lounge 2020 Quarantine Edition. They've done a couple like that. Um, if you don't know who Duke Levine is, he's played for people like Mary Chapin Carpenter and Peter Wolf. He does a lot of soundtrack work. 
apparently I didn't realize this, but um, he, you know, from watching it, I now know that he has put out solo records um, with, with really cool guitar playing. There's always sort of cool guitar playing interspersed in the videos where you have the guys playing certain things they're talking about or, you know, just playing little snippets that sort of showcase their personal style. And this guy is pretty fantastic, really cool sort of telly playing as most of the things on True, True Tone Lounge are. It always sort of, not always, but often leans towards country players, you know, playing, playing telecasters, uh, benders and things like that. This one's no exception. It is an awesome way to kill an hour. If uh, you just love hearing about music and music history, what I found, find inspiring about the True Tone Lounge interviews uh, is that, you know, you see these guys and you get, you, you sort of start in their childhood and see their musical journey, how they got to be these iconic, you know, whether they're sidemen or artists themselves or whatever they are, producers, session players, you just, you get to see how they progressed, what happened in their life that put them in that direction. And you usually come away just thinking, man, that's just the normal guy who's worked hard and I, I can do this. And it, it always leaves me just wanting to go pick up my guitar. And I think that is the mark of any good YouTube guitar video is that when I'm done, I want to go play. Um, this one definitely makes me want to go play. So Duke Levine, True Tone Lounge 2020 Quarantine Edition. We have definitely talked before about, you know, Zach, who does the interviews on True Tone Lounge, has a channel called Ask Zach. Just as a bonus, because I've featured the channel fairly recently, but I'm also going to link uh, his last video is called Relics, The Real Story, Ask Zach, number 46. Really cool look at how Relics started, why they're Relics, what he thinks about them, whether he likes them or not, and what he thinks, you know, sort of makes a good Relic. So interesting history there, cool perspective. I enjoyed it. Um, and that's uh, probably one of the hottest debates in, in guitar YouTubed them anyways is, you know, are relics cool or are you a poser or blah, blah, blah. We've done videos about that on the casino. I own some relics, so, you know, take it however you, you like, but check out the video. So there's the videos for the week. The jam of the week is from My Darn Jam Tracks. It's called a Southern Rock Backing Track Jam in E minor. As always, I will post uh, the links um, for the jam track and I will post the link um, to me jamming on it on YouTube. It's also posted on my Instagram and my Facebook. So feel free to check that out. If you decide to take a pass at it, uh, tag the Fret Buzz, tag Jonathan Robinson Music, tag Casino Guitars. I'm starting to see some. Thank you guys so much. It's really cool. We actually shared uh, a video on the Casino Guitars Instagram in our stories the other week. It was a really cool um, uh, one from a couple weeks ago. Somebody, somebody jamming over it uh, with a pretty sweet PRS, I believe. Um, so yeah, we'll continue to do that. I'll share some more, um, and I might even put that link in the description today. So be on the lookout for that. Um, as always hit like and subscribe, make sure you hit the bell. So you catch all of our videos. We're constantly putting out new content, new demos. We're getting new guitars starting to roll in. Um, as always too, uh, if you are a bearded guitar player like me, check out www.thebeardstruggle.com. Use my discount code JRMUSIC15 for 15% off of anything in their online store. Hope you guys have a great week, and I will see you next week for the next episode of The Fret Buzz.